Hi everyone, it's Dr. Johnson again, and we're in the middle of a series on attention deficit. We're discussing the seven types or categories of attention deficit, and today I want to talk to you about type 4. Now I should point out that the way we understand these different types are based on a couple of things. History number one, brain mapping evidence that we get, and those are the two most important. So when we perform a brain map, we're looking at objectifying what's going on so we can understand how the brain is operating and we see different patterns shown on that test. Type 4 is really temporal lobe ADD. The temporal lobe sits here on the side of the head in the temporal area. And when we have a temporal lobe issue, we can have somebody that's really morally rigid in their view of the world. They might have an unpredictable mood. They might be angry. These kids kind of struggle to get to know people and have relationships, so they may interpret comments towards them as negative, even when they're not. They tend to have a darker, negative view of the world. And they may have had a history of head trauma as well. The temporal lobes are particularly uh, prone to injury with head injuries, even minor ones. Now, they could have also had a full-blown concussion, or maybe not, just mild traumatic brain injury. And we may have thoughts of suicide in this category of type 4 as well. Now, as you might imagine, temporal lobes have a lot to do with emotionality. So when we run a brain map, we look for different patterns. And type 4 is one of those patterns we look for and correlate very heavily with clinical history. Some of the things we do from a nutritional standpoint is help support GABA. Now, GABA is the anti-anxiety neurotransmitter. A neurotransmitter is a chemical that your brain and nerves manufacture in order to talk to each other. Now, GABA is an anti-anxiety or calming neurotransmitter. And we might also use magnesium because magnesium is also calming to the nervous system. We certainly are going to use exercise and other standard things like fish oil, DHA, or EPA type fish oils as well. When we're looking at different types of ADD, we want to understand them so we can better direct the type of care that individual needs. So it's really a big concept in our office. We apply that concept of specificity. We don't want a one-size-fits-all treatment approach. We want to tailor care to the individual. So until next time, I look forward to speaking to you then.